Welcome everybody, Lance Skurve here. On the wake up, <laughs> I woke up with a thought today where we've been speaking a lot about artificial intelligence and this virtual reality, but we're already living in a virtual reality, if you ask me. Not everybody, but most people out here. Meaning that we're living a life in a false way. We're trying to be something that we're not. We're striving for things that are not important and unattainable. So, well, who am I to say it's not important? It may come off as important to you. But in the end, you'll see how worthless it is. The status of this world, the money of this world, and the artificial engineered society. All of these things we work so hard for, we're not really in reality. Because when something hits us hard, a tragedy or some major change, we really get to see what we're made of. We really get to see who the people are that are in our corner. We really get to see what our values are all about. If it's something that is undergirding to our existence. But most of the time we're in this virtual reality already we're in the metaverse already and if we do get to the point where we wear these glasses over our eyes that they're making for us now to have a deeper experience in the metaverse and this cyberspace experience whatever you want to call it because it's confusing to me it's pulling us away from working on our real realities the authentic reality we're going to have glasses on our face and enjoying something that doesn't exist straight to the brain for a dopamine hit. But then when we take them off, our reality is nothing to be, uh, nothing to write home about because we're not working on it. We're not working on real relationships. We're, es we're into escapism. We're not working on making a better life or world for our children. How could we do that? When we're in a virtual reality. It's the ultimate crack pipe. It really is. It goes straight to the pleasure centers of the brain. And our reality could be crumbling around us. The real reality. But this thing that they say is virtual reality is going to just be so sweet. We don't have to worry about working on ourselves. We don't have to concern ourselves about gaining certain attributes to make us a better person it's just pure indulgence and so we're going to shrink we're going to we're going to be reduced as a person because of this non-indulgence in reality into this virtual reality and who's taking our energy our focus is going into something of nothingness it's just a thought but I understand that those things can be used to do work that's repetitious or artificial intelligence, you know, certain things, but we're imprinting it with so much of ourself that we're losing ourselves. I mean, I'm saying it in the present tense, but really it's going to be in the near future, starting from now. We're giving up so much, but what are we getting? What are we losing? It's already bad enough that we text each other. We LOL each other instead of really having a gut-busting laugh. When was the last time you had a gut-busting laugh with a, with, with a close friend? Whether it is over the phone or not. Because, you know, we move around different places. I'll grant you that. You know, I remember back in the 80s, late 80s. Remember, what was the name? Was it JC? So, the song, reggae song, Telephone Love. You sound so sweet on the line. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Telephone love. And that was using the telephone to share sweet nothings. But it wasn't you saying or sharing sweet nothings with the telephone. You were speaking to a real live breathing person. Looking over the romantic menu that you both shared when you see each other what you're going to do. It didn't mean anything lewd. It's just about the joy and love of being with a loved one. But this AI and this virtual reality is pulling us away from each other. 
It's already bad that we already feel a lack of love in the world the way it is. Those of us who are vibrating high, we already see it. We don't have to wait for the heat to get too hot in the kitchen to want to get out of the kitchen. We already feel it. While everybody else is salivating over the meals that are cooked, that may not even be real, GMO. It's a GMO sense of spirituality because what type of satisfaction can you get in a world that doesn't exist that you're indulging in? But the world around us, there are things to be done, there are missions that we have to accomplish while we're here. And we're abandoning that or we will abandon that, the majority of us, simply to have an experience where there's no work to be done, no responsibilities, no social interactions, no growth as a person. So at the end of the day, when you transition, you'll be worse off than when you came in. I want to stay in the real world. I want to be in the world where they do have righteous struggles. At the, it, when, at the end of the day, I'm a better person. I'm not going to run away from the challenge of making myself better or the challenges that are put in my path. That thing will suck you in like a tornado. I want nothing to do with it. And if you're considering it, think about what I said. Look at the quality of your relationships. Some of us don't even speak to our own families. Yet we want to put ourselves out to the world as being so righteous and just. Ain't that something? I know family could be the worst enemy. And I know family could be a fool little word for many. And if they are, leave them alone. But at least try to work on our relationships. Work on the quality of life. Quality of life, yeah, money in this man-made world will enhance certain things. It will help to catapult you to realize certain dreams. But money alone won't do that. Look how many people have lots of money and they're sitting around bored, sitting around with no mission, sitting around with no satisfaction with a bunch of paper or digital dollars around them. And they take a gun, put it to their head and pull the trigger. So that tells you right there that it's about us, how we vibe as a people, how we experience this life together, because it's a joyous thing. Clean out the negative people from your world. Accept the positive people into your world, positive people who are about doing things, not tearing each other down on the sly. That's what I'm into. Hey, I don't mind walking alone because basically I pretty much do that also anyway. Right. I have a small circle, tight circle, face to face and in the cyber world. But I know who's who. And I'm going to vibe with those types of people, but I'm not going to vibe with a machine or vibe with a virtual reality to pull me out of this reality. Because no matter what religion you follow, we are all spiritual beings, whether we want to acknowledge it or not, whether it's good or bad, whether it's going up or going down, we're all on a spiritual plane. And when that time comes for us to transition, whatever religion you're into, I'm not trying to debunk it, but this is a test. When you look at the universe and when you look at time and infinity, if you live to a thousand years old, a thousand years old is a drop in the bucket when compared to infinity. This, this is, a, this is a assessment exam to know where to place you on the next level. That's what I feel. Are you failing this thing? Are you winning at this thing? Are you getting better? Or did you just walk away from the whole test into a virtual world that will mean nothing for you on the next level? Think about it. Think about why you're here. We all have different lives. We've all been dealt a different hand from the deck of life. Some seemingly better, some seemingly worse. Lots of times we can get the bad hand and do good in life. Sometimes we get the good hand and do bad in life. It's not where you started, it's where you ended up. And we all have a chance to improve, but you're not going to improve by punking out on reality and going into the fake reality called this virtual reality. And especially with AI. This thing is too powerful in a negative way. Like bad drugs, like any drug. You don't need the synthetic drug. The creator put everything here for you. This thing here is going to break up a lot of relationships, break up a lot of families, mess up a lot of minds, and make us softer and weaker for the challenges in this world. Lance Skurvout, I'd like to hear your opinion. That's just a thought on the wake up. Peace.